Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to create an image gallery using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This is what our gallery is going to look like. We're also gonna be implementing a Lightbox JavaScript and CSS to do most of the heavy lifting for us. So what I've done right now is I've just downloaded a bunch of images and I've also created a smaller version for every image as well. So once you have a big version, a small version of every image, we're ready to get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project in NetBeans, select HTML, name this project Image Gallery, and then I'm gonna navigate to the folder where our images are located and click Finish. I'm gonna close all the other files here where I need them and let's use uh, image gallery for the title. And then we are gonna be using a div tag to place all of our images in it and we're gonna name it gallery. And this is gonna be some really basic HTML. All we're, all we're gonna be doing is uh, using the thumbnails of the images and linking to the bigger versions of those thumbnails. So that's all that we're gonna be doing here. So I'm gonna say image source equals images. And the first image that I have is africa.jpg. And then I'm, oh, it's gonna be Africa small, which is a small version of the image. And then link to it with href images Africa on JPG which is a big version of the image I'm gonna close the a tag at the end and all it's doing is using the small image version first and then linking to the big one and here's our small image and if I click on it, it takes us to the big one okay so I'm gonna do the same thing with the rest of the images and I'm just gonna copy and paste the rest of them because it's going to be exactly the same code. So I'm going to copy and paste all the rest of the images here. And as you can see, it's doing exactly the same thing. It's taking a small version and it's linking to the big version of the image. Let's see what it looks like so far. And here are all the images and their big versions as well. So now let's go ahead and add some CSS. I'm gonna create a new file, cascading style sheet, and name it style.css. And then we're gonna add some margin to our gallery div that we've created here to add some spacing to our gallery. So I'm gonna say gallery margin. Let's use 10 pixels and 50. Let's also add some styling to our images as well. We're going to add transition, one second, padding, 15 pixels, and width, 200 px. We're also going to add a rollover effect. So we're going to say gallery, img, column hover and this is optional but I like to use the filter grayscale to add an additional effect when the mouse is rolled over the image and we're also going to increase the size a little bit and that's all the CSS that we're going to be adding now let's go ahead and include the actual CSS file so we want to use the link HTML tag with an attribute rel equals style sheet type equals text forward slash CSS and href equals style.css which is the destination of our style. Alright, let's see what it looks like and boom! We now have a really cool rollover effect and the images are nicely spaced out. 
So our thumbnails are ready. Now all we have to do is make the actual dynamic gallery functionality work. And for that, we're gonna go ahead and use a light box. So we're gonna go to Google and just type download light box. And this is a ready to go CSS and JavaScript uh, that we can use in our gallery, which is which saves you a ton of time when creating a gallery like this. So we're just gonna download it and implement it. And we want to extract all the files in the directory where our gallery files are. So mine are located under C localhost. Actually, I'm gonna go to NetBeans and find out where the project files are located. It's pretty long directory name, so okay so it's here and public HTML so yeah just make sure that you extract the files in the same directory where you have your current project files I'm gonna click extract and you're gonna have this folder called lightbox2 master and the two files that we're gonna be using are located inside of the dist folder so you wanna go inside of the dist folder and go inside CSS copy this one lightbox min.css also from js folder we're gonna grab lightbox plus jquery min.js because we're also gonna be using jquery copy that and let's go ahead and copy both of them in our in our root directory and now let's actually create a CSS folder here and JavaScript folder as well just to keep everything nicely organized so CSS and JS and we're gonna copy both our style CSS that we created earlier and lightbox min.css inside of the CSS folder and then this JavaScript file we want to copy it in the JS folder just to keep things organized now let's go ahead and include those files first of all we want to change the directory of our style CSS to CSS and then we're going to include lightbox CSS type equals text forward slash CSS and href equals light, uh, CSS lightbox min.css and then include the JavaScript as well script src js lightbox plus jquery min.js that's the one we want and then don't forget to close the script tag like this and another thing we're gonna add here is the lightbox attribute called data forward slash lightbox and this is what's actually gonna make it, everything work my gallery let's just test it out on one of the images so let's go and see what it looks like in a browser and boom it's working now we can also add caption to our images so for that we're gonna use a, another attribute called data title and let's just say African animals then go back click on the image oh misspelled the title okay go back refresh and now we have the title African animals so that's working and the last thing we want to do is add the previous and next and the close buttons so for that we want to go ahead and go back inside of our lightbox folder and go inside the dist and then images and here you'll see these four buttons so it's close loading next and previous so I want to grab these and we want to paste them inside of our images folder like this and now let's go ahead and also add the attribute to the rest of the images as well and you guys can go ahead and add those data titles yourself that's should be self-explanatory now so I'm just adding all those data light uh, box um, attributes to the rest of the uh, a tags 
and now everything should be working. So let's go and see what it looks like. Click on one of the images. Now you can see that we have a next button, we have a close button, and we have a loading button, uh, loading progress icon as well when we're switching to the next image. And you can go back as well, and then you can close this image and click on the another one. So everything is working. And that's how you create an image gallery using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.